appreciation for the police contribution because they are our partners in this so we thank God for the lives of our brothers and sisters for all that they are doing in maintaining this year in Ghana. I am the chairman of the local council of the church 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 of the On behalf of the bishop, I wish to express a sincere gratitude to the organizers of this uh, all important event and to say all we are looking for and all we are saying is give peace a chance. We need peace to prevail. God's gift to humanity is peace and this is a divine legacy he has left behind for us and it is our responsibility to build upon it that it may be sustainable. It is our desire that this year's elections coming 7 December all who go to the polls may do it peacefully and amicably and get back to their various homes and we wait for the winner of the elections. But remember, it's God who chooses. Whoever becomes the leader of our country and whoever becomes our parliamentary candidate or member, member of parliament, it is God's choice. And so we pray for them and pray for all Ghanaians that we may not allow the devil to prevail, but that by God's grace, we will harmonize our activities to ensure that peace comes to stay. I wish each and every one a fruitful election. Please vote prudently, vote peacefully, and, and make sure that each and every one of us, our tax is that we have one Ghana, one Savannah region, one nation, one people, Living in peace and harmony according to God's will. I come on, you know, for a little in your Ya Penny, in the chest when you face up. Go for our water, so to be to your Fukubo, the day after the Falanta, Melissa from the Air, Melissa for the Anna, Melissa for Nippy Banca, I have for you, Sir. I want another rest in Ever Sat and Sanyin. Amen. President of the Council of Churches, Pastors, here in Cadet. The representative of the, my Lord Bishop, the representative of the Islamic Council, all of us, fellow constituents of Damango constituency, and members of the Christian fraternity, I greet you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let me stand here to state with great emphasis and without a shred of equivocation that the new patriotic party and my good self are fully and unconditionally committed to a peaceful, fair, transparent elections in the Damango constituency. We are 100% committed to peace. We intend to abide by the process. We intend to play by the rules. And we intend to ensure that come 7 December Monday, the good people of Damango get the opportunity to express their opinion, to make their decision in peace and tranquility. I want to emphasize that we will do nothing, we and I repeat, we will do nothing which will disturb the peace of Damango and its environs. We will do all in our power to ensure that there is peace and that there is order and that the electoral process runs smoothly. I also have to add that so far as I'm concerned, there really should not be a basis for any disputation, controversy, or violence. There certainly should not be. The process is very straightforward. If you have your name in the register, you are verified, you are entitled to vote. At the end of the day, the votes are sorted out and counted. In any event, the good Lord knows who will be the leader of the constituency already. So it's not within our power to make those determinations. So I want to assure 
the Council of Churches of Damango and the municipality, that in me, you have a partner. In me, you have an ally. In my party, the New Patriotic Party, you have a partner to ensure that come December 7th or Monday, we have a peaceful election. The will, the voice of the people they say is the voice of God. Let the voice of the people prevail. And that will be the wishes and desires of God Almighty. I thank you for your attention. I'm most grateful to be here today. I'm Adam Mutawakilo, a.k.a. Gallows. I know and I believe in development. And Damango has developed over the years. And now it is an icon that a lot of people envy. And we can only sustain this development when there is peace. Without peace, whatever we have achieved will be reduced to zero. Without peace, women and children suffer. And as a parliamentary candidate, I cannot sit down and cause trouble for women and children to suffer. As a parliamentary candidate representing the NDC and President Mama being the candidate, we cannot sit down as a party for women and children to suffer being caused by us. And I therefore stand on this lorry park of Damango to pledge that I, Adam Mutawakilo, will ensure that everybody in NDC behave in a manner that is peaceful, in a manner that will bring respect to Damango constituency, and in a manner that will bring respect to our mothers and fathers, for people to know that they have brought up people and uh, children who know what peace is about. And therefore, I pledge that everybody, NDC members, ensure that there is peace before, during, and after the elections. It is God that ordained uh, leaders, and nobody can change what God has ordained. And as an MP, in 2012, we had it peacefully. In 2016, we had it peacefully. And I believe, inshallah, the 2021 will be peaceful. And whoever emerges the winner, I have the responsibility to ensure that peace prevails. There is development that goes on. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you all and sundry. Thank you, everybody. Everyone that is gathered here. Uh, first and foremost, I would like uh, to give thanks to the Omnipotent, the Almighty God, for having ensured that all of us have gathered here peacefully. Uh, David Tiki Dange, when we are talking about peace, when we say peace, I think that I, David Tiki Dange, I am an embodiment of peace. I have worked as the United Nations State Advisor for South Sudan. Everybody have heard of uh, Jongle State, where John Garan came, uh, comes from. The Dinkas are the wildest tribe in the entire Africa. I was the state advisor for Eastern Equatorial State, United Nations State Advisor for Eastern Equatorial State. I was the commander for Kosovo Montenegro border. Anybody that knows Kosovo, you can Google and find out Kosovo. The war there was very devastating. I was in Kosovo and I was the commander for Kosovo Montenegro border at the age of 24 in 2000. Uh, I think that uh, Gerard Gupeura, uh, Jinapo also uh, uh, went to Kosovo, but subsequent to me. I think I was there, he went there like five or six years thereafter. By the time that we were there, we saw the brutality of war. You will see human beings on the street like flies. You will see human beings, even in South Sudan. I have seen it, I have experienced it myself. And I am telling you, my people, I have held a position of P5 with the United Nations. And I am telling you, peace is priceless. Peace is priceless. The most important thing is unity. At the end of the day, why are we so, uh, uh, all fighting? The three of us, as I said yesterday, Samuel Abu Jinapo Lodge is my cousin, my auntie's son. Yesterday I greeted my auntie. Uh, Honorable Galos is my uncle. So look at the three of us. We are from the same house, the same family. So you, those of you who will follow us and be fighting, I think that it is stupidity of the highest order. I want to entreat all of us. I want to entreat all of us to ensure that peace is priceless. We want the development of Demango 
We want the development of the people of Devango. That is why we are all struggling. So we should ensure that we vote peacefully and choose the person that is right to lead us in the name of God so that we all have a peaceful ambience for us to live in, to coexist. I thank you all, and God lead us to choose a leader in the name of God to lead us. And in the name of God, I ensure that I, David Tiki Dange, I am the one coming to ensure that the actual peace that everybody is yet for is going to come in the Damango constituency and in the Savannah region. I am going to unify all the forces. I am going to unify NDC, MPP, CPP. I am going to unify the traditional leaders. I am going to ensure that what we call absolute peace is going to come. When MPP comes, they are only ensuring that their people are subservient to them alone. When NDC comes, they do the same thing. Honorable David Tiki Dange, I am coming to unify the entire Damango constituency to ensure that it encompasses the Savannah region at large. God bless us and lead us to the success. For each, they will keep one, and the Peace Council will also keep one of the statements they have signed. And I will be a witness to that event. In the order they spoke, the New Patriotic Party, lawyer Samuel Abu Nepal. You need a pen, I have a black pen. Thank <laughs> you.